In artificial intelligence, researchers have created computing models that work like neurons in human brain. These models are called artificial neural networks. Artificial neural networks can be trained to solve a variety of complex problems in different fields of study. Let us look at how neurons in human brain work to better understand how artificial neural networks work. A neuron in human brain is a basic working unit or or a cell that conducts chemically based electronic signals to pass message or information from one cell to another cell of the brain. There are billions of neurons in human brain with billions of connections among them. Neurons communicate information using electrical signals generated by chemical reactions. For this purpose, a neuron has a cell body or nucleus which processes information received from other neurons through dendrites. Processed information from nucleus is passed through exons or more precisely from exon terminals to the dendrites of other neurons. A point where two neurons interact is called synapse. It is, it is the junction or gap between exon terminals and dendrites of another neuron. Basically, purpose of synapse is to control information signal that is being passed Signal is controlled on the basis of weight or importance assigned to it by the nucleus or cell body. Figures to the left of slide shows the structure of neurons in human brain. Dendrites are close to cell body. They are used for receiving messages or information from other cells. Nucleus processes that information and assigns weight to it and passes it to other neurons through exons. A neuron in excited state controls produces a strong signal, which literally means signal is given high importance by the cell, body or nucleus. In this state, interaction at synapse is intense, that is, dendrites and exon terminals get really close. In inhibited state, chemical signal is weak, hence nucleus gives less importance to the message and gap at synapse is very high, very high to give less weight or importance to message or information. In artificial intelligence, an artificial neural network mimics the neurons in human brain to learn and process information like humans do. Each element or artificial neuron accepts a number of inputs, V, along with weight, W, and produces output of 1 or 0. Purpose of weight is to change the input signal or input message according to our will and this is how a neuron is trained to learn from various inputs. Effective weight is the sum of the products of weights and respective inputs. Effective weight determines whether output from a neural network should be high or low. If artificial neuron is given three inputs V1, V2 v and V3, then the function to represent the effective weight would be f of v is equal to v1 multiplied by w1 plus v2 multiplied by w2 and plus v3 multiplied by w3, where w represent weights with respective inputs. In artificial neurons, a threshold value is set which is compared to effective weight. If effective weight is greater than threshold value, neuron outputs the result of 1, else the output will be 0. So in artificial neuron, effective weight and threshold can control signals like synapse in biological neuron. Out output of 1 is equivalent to ex excited state of biological neuron. Out of output of zero is equivalent to inhibited state in inhibited state of biological neuron. This is a diagram of simple artificial neuron with inputs v1, v2, and v3, and weights w1, w2, w and w3. Inputs are like dendrites in biological neuron. In biological neuron, processing takes place in body of neuron. In artificial neuron, computations are performed in processing elements. A value is computed, computed based on weights or, in, or importance of information and that value is compared to, the th compared to the threshold to determine whether output should be high or low. In large neural networks, there are many elements in the form of layers for learning different behaviors from inputs and weights. Neural networks can be trained to learn and perform certain tasks like humans do. For example, they can be trained to identify faces in the picture or they can be trained to predict from large sets of data and perform various such complex tasks. 
Training is adjusting the weights and threshold values in a neural network to achieve desired outcome. Suppose a neural network is to identify a cat in the picture. For us humans, it is an easy task, but for computers, we will have to train neural networks. We will have to input each pixel in the picture that represents cat and produce output of 1. And with each such input, threshold value and weights of neuron will be adjusted again and again to identify pixels that form cat in more than one pictures.